Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another lecture in our Web Development Foundations series. So in this lecture, we're going to actually start getting into some of the code that we need to write, or rather the HTML that we need to write, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And if you'll remember in the last lecture, I added this index.html file. So inside here, if I just type in exclamation mark, you'll see that I get this little wrench icon here with an exclamation mark. And then over here, it says Emmet abbreviation. And there's all of this code over here. So if I hit, if I hit enter on that, this is going to auto generate kind of a boilerplate template for me to then build an HTML file from. So if we look at this file, you could see, first of all, at the very top line, I've got doc type and it says HTML. So there's actually a couple other options that we could use. You have HTM, you have XML, um, but because we're using live server and because it's um, kind of the modern standard, we're just going to keep it as HTML for this entire class. Then this next line here, you've got the language and EN simply stands for English. So basically this is saying, hey, our document type and our document language for all of our HTML code is going to be in the English language. And um, because obviously we speak English and we can read and write English, we're going to leave it there. And then after that, you see a head and you'll notice these top two, I have a opening bracket and a closing bracket. And if I highlight that, nothing else highlights. And the same thing here. Uh, well, actually, sorry, here I've got, I do have a closing bracket. I've got this HTML here inside of these two brackets. And then at the end, I've got this HTML inside of these two brackets as well. And the difference is up top, well, one, you have this lang equals en. And then also down below, you have a slash before the HTML here. And then same thing with the head, you've got head, and then a bunch of things in between the this starter head or the opening head tag and then down here which is what we're going to call the closing head tag so most html tags work like this where you have an opening tag and then a closing tag and then everything that you want inside of those tags goes in here there are some exceptions to this like for example the meta tag the meta tag just has an opening tag there's no closing tag on that one and um, basically meta metadata is basically going to be data that goes along with this file, but that's not necessarily going to be displayed to the user. Kind of like if you have a song file, if you open up that MP3 file, it's going to play the music, but that file itself doesn't actually contain the author or the published date or the album it was published on. That's all metadata that goes along with that file. And the same thing here with HTML, you have metadata. And that's going to be things like, for example, here, your character set, which is going to be UTF-8, um, as opposed to something like UTF-16 or ISO, what is it, ISO-889 something, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to keep it with UTF-8 for this entire series here, because that's pretty standard for web design. On top of that, you've got um, your metadata for the name, and then you've got your viewport. And basically, the viewport is going to be anything that's visual, that's going to be um, that's going to be visible for the user to look at on your website. So, for example, here we have viewpoint, and it says our content is just going to be the width of the device. And um, basically, what that means is here you can see I have my server open, and I've got, just got a blank white page. So everything inside here is going to be my viewport. After that, you've got your title and your document. So if I actually, um, let's go ahead and save this file and refresh my, I have the live server running. If you don't, you can right click on this and you open with live server. So now you can see my title, which says document updates as the title on my web page itself. Now, if I were to change this to HTML demo or whatever, you'll see nothing changes yet because I've made the change, but I haven't actually saved it in the code. And the way that you can tell that is because next to this index.html tab, you've got this white circle. So if I save that by pressing control S, now that white circle turns back into an X. And 
you can see this HTML demo has now updated on my page, and that's the new title. Now, this is all the head data, and then anything you want to actually display on your page goes inside of the body. So for example, if um, inside the body, I want to type some text, I could say, hello world, which for some reason is the first program everybody learns in every language. And there you go, it says hello world. And all I do is type the text and it displays it on the screen. Now, if you want to have um, different types of text, I can add an H1, which H stands for header, and one is just kind of the highest level of header. So I could say um, demo and then save that. And you can see now my demo appears there again. And if I type something else below that, I could say this is my first HTML document. And then save that. You can see that also appears down here. Now, one thing I'll note, if you want to add something into your code that you want not to be displayed on the screen, you can add something called a comment. And to make a comment in um, in HTML, all you need to do is do this um, less than sign and then the exclamation mark. And then if you type dash dash, it'll auto close and give you a dash dash and then a closing bracket. So now anything I type inside of here is going to be um, what's known as a comment. So a comment is not going to be visible to the user. So this is not visible on my web page. You can see it's not visible. Um, even if I save that, it doesn't appear. Now, if I were to take away these the opening and closing brackets on that comment and then save that, it's going to automatically interpret this as text you can see here. And now this is not visible on my web page. It actually is visible on my web page. So another way to make this into a comment is if I just click on that line, and then if I do control and then a forward slash, which is going to be the one right next to the shift on the question mark key. So if I do control forward slash, now you can see this is not visible, um, has been commented out. And if I save that, once again, that's not visible. Um, so I can grab any amount that I want here and do that control. Um, that's maybe not the best example. Um, I can grab all of this and do control slash. And you can see it'll comment out all of those lines. And then if I do control slash again, it'll uncomment those lines out so that they're part of the document again. So that's how you make um, comments inside of your document. This, anything that I put inside of this body is going to be basically interpreted as text. So if there's no if there's no tag on it, like this one, for example, has an H1 tag. So that's going to be interpreted as my header. But if it doesn't have a header, it's going to be interpreted as text and just going to be spit out onto the page as, as for example, here, hello world. And then this is my first HTML document. Finally, under the body, you've got the body closing tag. And then finally, the HTML closing tag. Now, this is just one simple file. And if you look at, I mean, any standard web page, you're going to have an HTML file. But you're also going to have your CSS file, which is going to be your cascading style sheet. And that is what that is going to allow you to add color and alignment and animations and styles and all kinds of things to your page. That's going to make it look a lot better than just our simple HTML web page here. Um, you can see this doesn't look very good. And until we get through all of the HTML portion and actually start getting into the CSS portion, our web pages are not going to look good. And that's okay. Um, basically, you need to learn HTML first. And then after we learn it, we'll learn how to arrange it with the CSS. So in here, um, for example, if I type link, and then CSS, and then hit, you can see again, this is another Emmet abbreviation. So if I click enter on that, it's going to give me a link to a style sheet, which is going to be named style.css. So in the previous lecture, I had a style.css, but since then I've deleted that and I don't even, this file doesn't exist anymore. But you can see it says control plus click and it should follow the link. So if I can hold control and then click on that, 
I get this unable to open style.css. The editor cannot be open because the file was not found. And then it gives me the option to create the file. So if I click that, you can see now that file is created. And again, we're not learning CSS yet. I'm just showing you how to link that in your HTML file. And then the same thing with a script. If I come down here and choose script source, and let's say I want to do script.js. And this file also doesn't exist. If I do control and then click, I'm going to get the same thing unable to open, but I have the option to create that file. So basically, this is going to be the boilerplate template that we use um, for a lot of the different code that we're going to be running through in this HTML series. And remember, the HTML is kind of going to be the structure of, or maybe think of it like the skeleton of the content that goes on your page. And while we're learning HTML, until we get into CSS, this really is not going to be, it's not going to be a pretty web page. It's not going to look good. And that's okay. Um, just keep going. And eventually, when we get to the styles and the colors and theming and animations and all of that, our web pages are going to look a lot better. But until then, we have to learn the basics and we have to learn the fundamentals. So until we get through that, this is kind of going to be uh, what it looks like. And that's okay. Just stick with it. And one of the most important things is that you're just consistently learning um, and really with any skill, but definitely with technical skills and with web design is just go into it every day, expecting to learn something new and trying to learn something new. And you won't learn it all in one day. You won't learn it all in one week or one month. But over the course of um, this course, which is going to be a year long, when by the time you look back, after a year, you're going to have learned quite a bit, you know, slowly over time, just coming back to it over and over and over again. So with that being said, this um, has been just a basic introduction to our boilerplate template that we're going to be using in HTML. And hopefully you found this video helpful. And we will see you in the next video.